well actually ZT bring so what we call Carrier DevOps and a cloud native application to this event. So Carrier DevOps can help the operator to deploy a network slice within set, uh, sorry within minutes, and the Carrier DevOps can help the operator to elastic their net network, scale in and scale out within seconds. And also the cloud native application can explosion the network capability to the OTT. So that's the network, I mean the pipe, is not a best effort to the OTT. The make change. We understand that nowadays OTT have a great challenge to the telecom industry. But actually the pipe, I mean the network, still a black box to the OTT. The, the OTT is what we call the best effort. But how can we merge the OTT application together with the network? I mean, the network application could expose their capability to the OTT. So the cloud native solution, which is uh, released by ZTE, can help the OTT to catch the capability of the network. So the network will never be a black box to the OTT. It could be uh, converged with the OTT together to provide better service to the end customer. So when we're talking about OTT, best effort is always a problem. But, when, but we need to provide carrier-grade application to our customer. So based on these uh, requirements, ZTE provides what we call carrier-grade DevOps platform and carrier-grade uh, network application to the network. So that is, we are not only using the benefit of the cloud, but also we inherit the network, I mean the telecom uh, reliability capability to the new, what we call the telecom cloud. So by providing uh, a network on the cloud, we are not only guarantee the security of the cloud, but also guarantee the performance, I mean the reliability of the network. So within the past year, we do deploy more than 40 commercial, I mean, uh, the virtualized network all over the world. And uh, totally, nowadays, we do have almost 200 commercial cases all over the world. So one of the typical ones, what we call, uh, is uh, coming from the Webcom group. We deployed five countries uh, of the Webcom branches with a commercial virtualized EPC. And we have just awarded another seven country from the up course of the webcams to using our virtualized, uh, I mean, telecom cloud and plus cloud native application for the 4G network. In the other hand, in the Telefonica South uh, American branches, we deployed a virtualized IMS on the cloud for seven opcos of 10 Fortica in South America to deploy voice over LTE, voice over Wi-Fi, and a fixed voice uh, together at the same time. And uh, another case about uh, the we can deploy our cloud native uh, application on the public cloud. We understand if we want to deploy something on the public cloud, you should be very carefully for the reliability. But this time, because we're using the cloud native application, we can inherit the reliability technology from the telecom industry. For example, the hot standby, for example, the jerk free redundancy, and for example, the what we call pooling technology. So basing on these three technologies, we can guarantee the reliability and the security for the network on the public cloud. So that's very amazing. So we understand that 3GPP provides a standard architecture for the 4G or maybe for the future network. But it's a black box. So we have a lot of elements which is a using box to do it. The legacy, I mean the existing NFA technology are not change the 3GPP architecture. We are just to change the box, I mean legacy box to a software application. So that is not good because we understand the existing 3GPP architecture based network is a black box to the OTT. 
So the OTT can only do what we best effort. They cannot negotiate to the network to provide the service. So the network and the OTT application are completely separately. So when we introduce the NFE technology from the ZTE, ZTE perspective, we introduce what we call a cloud native NFEs. That is mean the network application, I mean the box which is identified by 3GPP, can have the open API to expose the capability of the network to the OTT. So the OTT application can talk to the network about their requirements. So they are not best efforts architecture. So we are negotiate. So we can share the resource, we can talk to each other, I mean, from the network side and to the application side. So the network will be more good. So we can together, I mean the OTT application, together with the network can ex provide better user experience to the end customer. So the, I think that is the innovation of the NFE, not traditional NFE. That is what is new we bring to the, this event this year. We do have a special technology for our network. For example, we have a special hardware, we have a special technology for security, uh, for regulation, for the, uh, how, how to say, reliability. But when, when we migration our network to the cloud, we inherit all this technology. That is to mean, so we can use a special hardware to guarantee the performance for the OTT. And also we can use a legacy technology, for example, hot standby, for example, pooling service, for example, uh, how to say, drug free redundancy technology to guarantee the network reliability and the security. So in this case, all this ability, I mean, uh, security, capability, uh, reliability, capability, are explosion to the OTT. So the OTT can make full use of this capability of the network. They are not the best effort. We, I mean, the network is no, never a black box to the OTT. So that is a, a good thought, good things. So we can make a full use of network and application to, to provide better service. By migration the agency network to the cloud platform, uh, ZT is not inherent to the cloud advantage. For example, we have a hot migration, we have a N plus K redundancy, we have a short snake. So at the same time, we do inherent the agency uh, telecom technology about the reliability. For example, hot standby, for example, pooling service. So meanwhile, uh, the existing solution we we are not only take the advantage of the cloud platform, but also we inherit the telecom industry uh, reliability technology. So in this case, we can provide a better service to the customer. Wire we will provide a more economy solution with the test of the tier one operators such as Telefonica and Vodafone. We do prove ourselves the cloud solution can not only run on the cloud, but also keep the reliability, security, or regulations uh, requirements just as the legacy telecom network. And uh, we can cut over the TCO and also have the capability to migration of the future network such as 5G.